Welcome back. Piaget Crenshaw was an eyewitness to the shooting of Michael Brown. She says that right away that she knew something was simply not right, and from her apartment, she caught the aftermath on video. Take a look. I bless his soul. Police shot this boy outside my apartment. It's obviously a very emotional, distressing thing for, for Ms. Crenshaw uh, to see. Uh, very difficult. She joins me now along with her attorney, Karen Lewis. I appreciate bo both of you being with us. So, PJ, before the video started rolling, what did you first see? What did you first realize something was happening? Okay, when I saw the police car screech in the middle of the street and he was stopping the young man, that's when I first knew initially something was wrong. That's why I was looking you, for You that heard the police car screeching? Is yes, that, sir. So, you went to pretty, the window? Yes, it was pretty loud in the middle of the street. It was just a loud screech. So, you know, that he was driving and he stopped abruptly. So then what did you see? Okay, so then I just saw, you know, the tussle between Mike and the officer. Then you he said got the tussle was, was where, would, where did that take place? Inside, near, I'm sorry, it was near the officer car. The officer was inside of the car. Okay, and so the officer was still in the car and Mike, Michael Brown was by the window? Yes. Do you know, was one reaching in or one reaching out? Do you it, know? You know, it just, it just looked like they were wrestling. Like, I'm sorry, that um, the officer was just trying to pull him into the vehicle. That's just okay. what it looked like from my point of view. Okay, and then what happened? And so he just got out of the car. Michael started running. And I want to clear up that when we said that he got shot at from the back. So while he was running away from the officer trying to get away, he was getting shot at, which probably makes reason for the shot in the back of the arm going back to forward. So, so you believe you saw, you're convinced you saw the officer shooting Michael Brown when Michael Brown was facing away from the officer. Yes, sir. And then that is when he turned around with his arms up and got shot down multiple more times. You say his arms were up. There's an account from this woman who called into the radio show who claims that the officer is saying uh, Michael Brown was rushing the police officer. Is that what you saw? No, in no time did I see him move towards that police officer. He may have taken one centimeter of a step forward before he was gunned down. You say his hands were up. Do you remember in what way they were up? Um, they were just slowly going up. It probably didn't even get a chance to get all the way up there before he was struck. And and at what point did you decide to, to turn on the video camera? When I when I saw the man lying there in the street, mm. I, I was like, this it's a it's a dead body in the middle of my street. I must get this on film. I must do something about this. And, and how long was Michael Brown laying there for? He was laying there for hours and at least 30 minutes to an hour before they even cover him up. So he was visible for at least 30 minutes to an hour and there were children out there. And the um, gunshots were actually very wild. They hit buildings, you know, anybody could have gotten shot. So it was kind of a bad thing. Now, Karen, are you concerned at all? Your client didn't come forward immediately. Is that out of concern or why not? Well, part of it was that her the police confiscated her phone. So they had it for a while. And then when she got it back, we were just waiting to see what the police would come forward with before we revealed any information. They finally released the name, but they never, they did not put a, a face to the name at that time. And so at that point, we decided to go ahead and release that information. How has this been for you? I mean, it must be I mean, terrible. Definitely traumatic, but you know, got to do what I got to do to get justice for the family. All right. Thank you very much for being with us. I appreciate it. Both of you. Thank you. Uh,